Hey, how's it going, Ben? Douglas James here. So thanks for taking time to watch this SEO analysis that I'm going to do for you. Um, so I just want to jump right into it, talk, talk to you about, you know, what is SEO search engine optimization? Why is it important? Uh, I'm going to take a, take a look at your site, uh, show you how much traffic you're getting versus your competitor and show you exactly what we're going to do to increase your rankings. All right. So here is your site. So Google has uh, 200 determining factors when it comes to its algorithm. All right, it's ever changing. It's a monster. Uh, but I'm only going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones. Once we nail these four, everything else kind of falls into place. Um, so the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is, uh, you know, obviously, you know, 82% of your customers are going to Google and searching real estate in Fort Lauderdale. All right, so. Um, if you want to dominate the market on Google, obviously that is going to be um, a, a place you want to invest in, you know, to, to improve your, you know, who's going to your site. Are they seeing you or are they seeing Realtor.com and Trulia and Zillow for those areas? Okay, if you make yourself hyper local um, as the dominating, you know, uh, pretty much force in a specific area, uh, you know, you, we can definitely... Um, put you in the positions that truly uh, and Zillow are in because you're hyper local. So like for instance, um, well, I'll, I'll show you this real quick. So real estate gets searched, uh, you know, just the keyword in Fort Lauderdale, you know, 1300 times a month. Um, and as you can see, this is all in Fort Lauderdale, you know, houses for sale, 1600 times homes for sale, a thousand times, uh, property for sale, 40, you know, people search home 4,400 times, real estate listings uh, for sale by owner. Um, so as you can see, there's tons and tons of words that search every every month. And this is consistently year round. So around 22,000 upwards of 25,000 times a month, every single month, someone is in the market for real estate, whether to be buy, sell, or rent. <laughs> All right, so it's all about positioning if you want to take a piece of this pie, right? So some of the most profitable keywords, <clears throat> one is Fort Lauderdale real estate, okay? So for this keyword, as you can see, um, you know, Zillow.com is at the top, you know, and uh, I can find you anywhere on the first page. So if you're not on the first page, you might as well be on page 20. And I say that because of this chart right here. Number one ranked person controls about 35% of the to total clicks and visitors every single search. Uh, while, as you can see, as it drops down to position number 10 on the first page, it's may maybe 3%. And if, as you can see, page two starts at 11, it just it's almost nothing, 1% and below. So that's why you want to be at the top. All right, so if you're not even on page one, then that's a serious problem. So another huge keyword would be real estate for sale in Fort Lauderdale. All right, again, you're not on the first page. Uh, luxury real estate for sale in Fort Lauderdale. Again, you're not on the first page. And then we have uh, homes for sale, Fort Lauderdale. All right, um, and again, you're not on the first page. But what you are on the first page for, and actually rank number one, is Florida luxury properties. Now, this is awesome because you've really taken some key words that are people are going to search, um, but for Florida. So if you're if they're searching for luxury property in Florida, I mean, I'm assuming you should have you know a very wide array of listings for the whole state. But for you, you know, you're like we spoke on the phone. You were pretty much uh, Fort Lauderdale based and that's where you do most of your real estate so we're gonna need to go like I said a little bit more hyper local than just Florida we need to focus on Fort Lauderdale and go for those key terms because it's great to be at the top of this page but you probably get a lot of visitors um, and they will buy property in Fort Lauderdale but most of the time you're probably missing business because they're looking for uh, me, you know, maybe uh, lu uh, luxury property and other locations of Florida. All right, so let me show you some stats on your site real quick. <clears throat> so this is how many visitors you're getting up per month, about 158. Okay, so you're having a nice little incline here, you know, through this last year. 
that's going up a little bit. So 158 visitors, um, obviously there's a bounce rate and that bounce rate is usually between 90 and 95%. So bounce rate is when someone visits the site but never even calls you. All right, and as you can see, here's some keywords for it. Uh, Florida luxury property, you rank number one, okay? And then some other key terms that you are on page one for, all right? Um, here is another tool I like to use. Uh, this is SEO clicks from SpyFu. So this is when someone actually search, you know, Florida luxury property or any kind of keyword you're on page one for, and they click to your site. So you're getting, through this method, you're getting 278, which is not bad. <laughs> And you're having a nice little incline here uh, for the past year. And I can see that you were running some paper click earlier last year, but not too much. All right. So um, that's pretty much where you're at, you know. Uh, pretty much what you know so far is you're not on the top of the most profitable keywords, and we need to get you there. All right. So, and we need to get more hyper local. So, how do we do it? Like I mentioned, you know, Google has the algorithm. I'm going to talk to you about four important things real quick um, and kind of look at your site. So the first thing is, you know, authoritative content. So when I come to your page, what Google wants to know is, you know, how much content uh, or local, hyper-local content are you putting out there? So if we're trying to rank you for Fort Lauderdale, you know, how many times are you mentioning Fort Lauderdale and the uh, keywords that you want to rank for, right? Because when we go... Um, where is it at? One second here. When we go to this page and we want to rank you for all of these keywords, are you mentioning all this? You know, there's 800 or so, 700 keywords, right? Um, and then I showed you the most profitable ones. So you need to have those statements, those long tail keywords mentioned throughout your content. And you want to have at least around 2,000 words of content on the page. So I can see just by eyeballing your site, you know, you have these short three paragraphs here. So that's about 300, 400 words. And you have these paragraphs here. So you have about seven to 800, maybe 900 words on this home page which is not too bad, but if you're going to compete with the big dogs like Realtor.com and Zillow, that home page for Fort Lauderdale needs to have at least 2,000 words, and we need to be mentioning all those keywords multiple times, bolding them just like you have this bolded. This See, this is bolded for luxury uh, Fort Lauderdale real estate, you know, makes the dynamic, city a dynamic exciting place. That's an awesome statement for to kind of pop out for your prospect to make them want to buy property from you, but it's not helping your SEO organics. When you bold this like that, that's telling Google, hey, rank me higher for this entire statement, and nobody's going to search this entire statement like that. All right, I hope that makes sense. Um, and then you have this bolded, Florida Luxurious Properties, and you are ranked number one for that. So as you can see, when you do things like that, that helps your rankings. Okay, so just simple things like bolding uh, certain keywords you want to rank for. So we need to build out more content and put those keywords in the content and bold them out, just pretty much. And then all these photos need to be, if you have any um, photos, just make sure that, that they need to be named up. You know, so if they're automatically getting updated, they need to be named properly, Fort Lauderdale Luxury Real Estate, then the address or something like that. Okay. So that's important too for your SEO. Um, call to action. I mean, this is good. You want to have this right off the bat for somebody to contact you right when they hit the page. Um, but running these, yeah, do, doing a search for your listings is awesome. Uh, you might also want to have uh, maybe even uh, home value worth or you know get get a. Uh, you know, get a free listing, have, have them sign up for free listing. I'm going to talk about lead generation here soon in a little bit. Um, and then obviously the phone number, this needs to be clickable from a mobile device because 80% of your customers are going to be looking at this page from a uh, iPhone or, you know, Samsung Galaxy. So like right now, I, I'm not able to, I'm clicking this in my mouse, a little thing should pop up. Not I, I shouldn't be able to call it because I'm on my computer, but I still should be able to get something to pop up. So this telling me, this is not clickable, so you're missing out on in inbound calls on your site as well. All right, so that's just a brief analysis of your site. So um, next thing, like I said, you you have to be mobile friendly because 80% of your customers are coming in from your site. So your site is mobile friendly. I'll just throw that out there. We don't need to redo the site or anything like that. Um, oh, and back to the content real quick. 
I want to show you what that looks like. So if you go to Google, type in elephant, Wikipedia is notorious for being number one for these searches because of their content. So, I mean, look at this page. How oh, there's thousands upon thousands of words about elephants, their evolution, where they eat, what they sleep, all kinds of stuff, right? This is what you want to have for your business. Not about elephants, obviously, about real estate, Fort Lauderdale real estate, and luxury real estate. All those key words. You see how the, all these have clickable links, you know? I guarantee you they're, they're ranking for elephant in these keywords, all right, because it's bolded and even clickable. So, you know, a nice large chunk of information, something like, like, like this, you know, everything I've highlighted, big old chunk of information right in the center, smack, smack dab of your page and tell Google, hey, you know, I'm educating my clients when they reach my page, I'm, I'm mentioning all these keywords, I'm bolding them, take me more serious and give me higher rankings. That's all you're saying. All right. Um, so that's two things I talked to you about: mobile friendly site and content. All right. Next, I'm going to talk to you about uh, local citations. So these are very important. Some examples are obviously the Google listing, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yellow Page, White Pages. This, this is how we get our business information out there on these directories. Um, business name, address, phone number have to be identical on all of them, and you want to be in as many as possible. You want to be where your competitors are listed and more. Um, so you're right now through this tool that I'm using, you have, you're at a 79% uh, optimization rate. So there's 20, still 21% of citations that you haven't completed yet. And that's definitely affecting your local rankings and Google maps. Okay. Um, so as I go down, as you can see, here's some missing listings. You're not listed in these. All right. There's discrepancies with your phone number, missing listings, missing listings. Okay discrepancy in phone number so this is the top 50 in the country you want to be in all of these um, and then uh, you there's actually thousands so what we're going to do is actually go out and find the most relevant ones to real estate and get you listed in those as well okay and that's going to like I said improve your local Google map rankings all right um, yeah so that's local citations uh, and another thing on citations, you know, it's awesome to be in these directories. Um, obviously, most of your clients are going to be coming in from Google. Um, and then if we do lead generation, you know, with the video marketing I'll talk to you about through Facebook, that'll be, you know, uh, data-driven traffic that we're doing for you. Um, but organic-driven traffic, you know, would be through Google. So not too many people are going to be coming in from Yahoo, Yelp, or MapQuest, and City Search. This is just to show, tell Google, hey, I'm listening to all these directories. You know, I'm, I'm putting my information out there accurately. Take me more serious for higher rankings. That's what that's saying, pretty much, right? So that's your local citations. Um, so the final thing I'm going to talk to you about is uh, influence or backlinks, okay, as we call them. This is pretty much the power of your site. How powerful is your site? All right. Um, you know, how popular is your site? How authoritative is your website? You know, so when you think of websites like Realtor.com or Apple or Microsoft or McDonald's, okay, these are really big names, okay, or Zillow, right? For your for your um, for for your industry, I know that's a huge you know uh, service and a huge company across the country, and you're just Fort Lauderdale, but I just want you to think about how popular those sites are and this tool that I use measures how popular your site is pretty much and this tells Google hey I'm popular give me higher rankings <laughs> you know this is what that's saying so how do you get popular you get other websites to mention you online so if someone's reading an article or on another website if they can read an article and visit and there that site's getting thousands of visitors a month and there's links to your website that you can click that go straight to your website that's called the backlink all right so for your website, um, you have 45 websites mentioning you online, and you have 32 backlinks. So that includes social media and other types of uh, areas where you have your business listed that's getting clicked on. Okay, but the 45 websites is huge. Um, that's that's what's going to be most important, and you're actually not in a bad spot to have that many. Uh, but you're going to need a lot more if we're going to rank you, and this is probably the most biggest determining factor of the whole algorithm. All right. Trustflow is pretty much your how powerful your site is. All right, so let me show you this chart. No, not that one. This one. 
All right, so low quality, you know, we're at about a three. At a 15, you're medium quality, but at a 20 and higher, you are hot, really high quality. You are a very authoritative site. So at a 12, you're not even meeting medium quality. So what we are going to do is we actually have a database of thousands of sites that we could write articles and uh, create blogs for and mention you online so that these links go back to your website. Because we have sites, popular sites online that people visit thousands of times a month, and that's how we're going to deliver this uh, this power back to your site. All right, so we're going to uh, create or use current database of, of sites and get you more backlinks, which is going to give you that power that you need to rank a lot higher. So I want to give you a good example of, let's just say, our website. I want to show you the power of uh, amplocal.com. That's my uh, company, all right. Uh, we're actually ranked number two in all of San Diego, right? So we get a lot of local business from the site. But anyway, um, I just want to show you the power of our site. So this is the type of quality you can expect um, when we start helping you with your site. So I'm just going to paste this here at local.com. All right. So as you can see, you know, trust flow of 26 all right and we have 27 domains referenced uh, 251 backlinks so as you can see if we go back to this chart all right 26 is actually off the charts okay so this is a very high quality website so that's the type of power that you need if you're going to be ranked number one all of the number one rank business local business is going to be a 20 or higher so that's where you want to be all right, so I hope that makes uh, sense for you. So that is SEO in a nutshell, okay? Um, so that's the process of SEO. That's what we're going to do for you. That's where you're at right now and um, very doable, okay? We'll go out and get you some high-quality links. So let me talk to you about lead generation. I'll talk to you about that a little bit using Facebook advertising. Um, it's Facebook, it's, it's huge. It's a very lucrative way to grow in your business and getting quality customers to come into your business. All right. So what I'm going to show you is actually, uh, some sales funnels to give you an, an idea of what we can do for you. So pretty much on Facebook, what we're doing is creating these custom advertisements. Okay. Uh, a lot of the time there we use pictures, but we really like to use video, okay? And one of the ways that we get buyers to come into our business is we target the specific audience, okay? These, and the audience are people that are already in the market to buy homes, you know, based off their interactions and pages they like or visiting on Facebook, you know, are they searching for homes on Zillow.com? Are they searching for homes on Realtor.com? Uh, are they having conversations with other realtors on Facebook? Are they liking those pages? Um, are they saying that I'm going to be moving soon? I need to find a realtor on Facebook. Like Facebook tracks so much information about you and actually probably knows more about you than you know about yourself based off your interaction and pages that you visit on Facebook. So um, one of the biggest ways that we can get really high quality buyers is we run an ad, target the audience, Okay. Um, and by the way, all this data is tracked, you know, so we know how much you're paying for per click and per lead. And we bring them to a page where it says, you know, get your free report uh, of your, your home buyer's guide, right, for your local area. Okay, so I just have this funnel together just to give you an idea of what that looks like without, you know, your client's information. But um, they come into the funnel and they drop their email here, okay. So once they come in an email, every lead we get, we actually follow up and, you know, actually send them this home homes list or this, uh, this buyer guide for you. And it goes to a page that pretty much says, you know, Hey, thanks, you know, for opting in and, uh, getting the, the, uh, buyer's guide. Here's an update on the market. Okay. So this will just be you or one of your members on, on video saying, Hey, this is what's going on in the market. This is uh, what kinds of phone, you know, homes are available. This is what the average cost is. Uh, you know, just maybe some statistic updates on the market. And then at the end of the video, you're pretty much just say, Hey, if you really are looking to move, you know, we have uh, a ton of properties available. I'd love to show you some, you know, click here to learn more. 
um, and it comes to this page, they click, they're going to uh, uh, come to another page where uh, you're actually just, this is going to be, you know, a sales presentation, you know, buyer presentation on, on a bunch of homes or whatever types of properties that you'll like. And I actually have scripts for you to use for this process. So you have nothing to worry about. All right. Um, and it's just going to be filling in your information. And this is pretty much just going to be your pitch. Okay. You're that person to come into your business. Okay. So they click here, they're going to submit their full information. Okay. So you get, uh, uh, eight fields of data here. All right. And once they fill this information, by this point, you know, they opted in, they seen your ad, they clicked on it, they signed up for the, the, the buyer's guide. Then they watch another video about you talking about the market. They click to learn more, and now it's you pitching them to sell them on you being their realtor. And by the time they give you the, all this information, all right, they, they, like I said, they clicked the ad and they watched three of your videos. I'm sorry, two, two of your videos. And then it comes to a fourth page that says, you know, thank you again, you know, and one of our team, one of our team members is going to be reaching out to you, you know. So this person has, after all these videos, this person has spent roughly a half hour to 45 minutes with you, you know, watching your video while you educate them, while you, they come into your business. This is the most effective way of marketing, uh, your license and, and, and as, a, as a realtor in Fort Lauderdale and I guarantee you no one in your market is doing this it's very few and far between but we're able to show eight agents is changing their lives all right so this this is a a, a very um, effective way of getting I, I behoove you you know if you don't have a funnel like this set up for your business once you set this thing up it just runs you'll never have to do it again all right. So if you don't have this set up, I highly encourage you to get this thing set up. Get people coming in your business this way with automation from Facebook advertising. So this is the buyer's guide, right? So this is a seller funnel. All right. So it's very similar process. It's pretty much the same process. And again, I have the scripts, you know, for you to follow. But once you have your buyer funnel up and you have you're getting properties moved and sold from your buyer funnel, you can come back and we can build your seller funnel so you can get even more listings to sell more property using Facebook advertising. So again, this is another funnel. Actually, it's for an actual client. Uh, I just wanted to show you, but it's the same exact process. It's the same concept, but for getting a listing, okay, and building trust and rapport. All of this is all about building trust and rapport with local people that are looking to buy and sell. And we've already targeted them, and we already know they're in the market based off their interests, likings, and behavior. On Facebook okay so that is the the how we're going to bring people in your business now we can we do have the ways and uh, oh by the way and when you get a lead from these campaigns we're talking about uh, very serious inquiries okay now we do have campaigns that we can throw up and you know get you three four or five hundred leads a month phone number email address all that awesome stuff um, but I'm going to be honest, that's going to be creating busy work for you. Okay. Uh, anywhere between a half of percent to maybe 1% of those people will actually convert. Um, and it's going to create a lot of busy work, but these funnels, okay. They take just a little bit more time to set up. You get in front of camera or one of your members gets in front of camera. Okay. Follow the scripts. We'll build the funnels, do all the marketing, target the campaign. When you get a lead from this, this is we're talking about a serious buyer. We're we're talking about actually getting a closing for about a hundred bucks in, in advertising dollars. That's huge. You know, nowhere else can you do that. All right. But like I said, we can do funnels, we can do funnels where we're just marketing. I'll show you an example here. Okay, again, just want to give you uh, an example of another type of ad that we can run that will get you tons and tons of leads, um, which is still a great way, you know, getting huge pipelines of interested buyers and sellers is an awesome way to grow your business, but it ultimately comes down to, you know, do, the, the video funnels that I showed you is probably the highest quality that we could possibly do for you. Um, let me show you, I'll show you, I'll show you the one that 
in San Diego. I have so many of them. Um, okay, so this would this is a basic funnel to pretty much what we're doing is we're getting people to come to this landing page to get a list of homes for sale in their local area that's priced under the MLS. Now we can do this with luxury property as well. It works best with um, with uh, you know the the uh, median price. So in San Diego, median price is around five fifty thousand six hundred. So it's just you know a picture of a home and it's just a nice squeeze page. Very simple, right? Uh, I'm not going to test it, but when you do test it and you go to the next page, it goes to a page. So this is what it looked like before. Oh, you know, put in your email to get the homes list. So you'll send them a list of homes priced in whatever range that you want in Fort Lauderdale, for instance, then it'll go to this page and say, Hey, you know, where should we ship you the report? So now they're saying, okay, they're going to mail it to me. So we get their name, email, phone number, address. Um, and at the bottom, this is how you get your seller lead. Would you like us to compile a free report? That's going to give you your current homes worth. And if they say yes, that means they're in the market to sell. They say, get my list. All right. But what we're going to do is turn around, give them a call, text them, hey, just got your request, homes list, it's on its way. We're actually going to send it to you in email, you know, um, when's a good time to talk, you know, start building that trust and rapport. And we have scripts. Every single thing we do for you, we have scripts that you can follow. So it's a very clean copy and paste kind of uh, marketing that we can do for you. So it takes a lot of guesswork out. Um, so that's one campaign. Uh, if we wanted to directly get a buyer for a particular property without doing all the video marketing funnels that I showed you, there's a fourth no, there's a fourth campaign that I can show you that we can do. Um, I believe this one was one that we did. So this is a page. Pretty much, we run a video ad on Facebook. We target the audience, obviously. Then they come to a page, hey, check out this amazing ranch for sale. This was like a $7 million ranch. Um, and it just has a video a slideshow or it can have a v aerial. We recommend doing like an aerial, uh, a drone type of video for the property. And then also do some video on the inside of the property as well. And then they'll come in here and just put in their personal information uh, to learn more about the home. Okay, so that's how we can generate, one way we can generate a direct buyer for a particular type of property. Okay, so these are some awesome strategies I'm showing you, and I'm telling you, it's some really high-speed type of marketing. So if you're not doing it now, I would definitely get these funnels in place. For sure, 100%, uh, get the funnels in place for your seller leads to get more listings, and then, of course, for your buyer, getting this funnel in place, okay, that I showed you earlier. Okay, and that, that I walked you through. These are going to be the most powerful pieces of the puzzle for you as you move, you know, and grow in your business. Okay, um, and what, like I said, what these ads we pay literally a penny for. So, okay, so I just pulled up uh, one of my ad manager accounts. Um, as you can see, we have a ton of past campaigns, um, and you're looking at them on lifetime, so it shows you you know, the history of all the camp, all of these buyer seller, you know, campaigns that I'm talking to you about. They're all, uh, as you can see, we did tons of them, um, ran hundreds and thousands of dollars. But, um, for one, I'll show you for instance, like, I mean, if you pay attention to like this column where it says cost, okay. Uh, you're seeing that we're showing these is, this is cost per engagement. You don't see it here, but this is just somebody to actually read your ad. Okay. And as you can see, some of them don't pay attention. It's probably a different market, not real estate. But um, and we're paying for these are pay set up for click. But the ones that say pay per post, that's po post engagement. So we're getting someone to read an ad for seven cents, two cents each, seven cents, one cent. Okay, and that's that. Actually, this is the San Diego Ranch. That's that landing page I just showed you. We had a video, or um, uh, just a just a picture ad going up and people were looking at it and reading on it and go, going in the funnel for one penny. Okay. One single penny. You know, that's how powerful this marketing is. Okay. And as I go on, this is another home 
uh, that we did and uh, where was this um, Bend Oregon all right this ad we had someone looking at it for two cents okay and look how many times it got clicked on 12,000 times all right the ranch it got clicked on 17,000 times we had 17,000 people go to the landing page so needless to say we move we can move property <laughs> All right, here's a condo we did in San Diego, three cents per uh, read, all right. So, I mean, the, the list goes on, but um, as you can see, you know, as we talked about on the phone, um, you know, you probably have flyers and magazines and mailers and all that stuff, and you probably push it to people that aren't targeted. Like, like you said, you can get, you know, 4,000 mailers and hit 4,000 mailboxes, um, and you'll get some conversions off of that, maybe, right? And but that cost you, you know, probably a few thousand bucks, right? But what if you know, what if you spend that few thousand bucks on ads where people are actually going to read and take the time to look at that flyer and take the time to look at your listings or, or what you have to offer? Don't you think you're going to have a higher opportunity or higher chance to actually sit down? and get in front of these people in your office or maybe get in front of them or have them actually accept maybe we can get them to accept a personal invite to come and see a property i didn't show you the open house marketing that we could do for you you know have you ever had 50 to 100 people show up at a house for open house these are the types of things they're going to do to you and it's all through this facebook marketing and all this data that i'm presenting to you right now in front of you Okay, so huge opportunity. I really hope it makes sense, and I'm really excited to show it to you because talking to you and and you're not you're not having this this system in place, man. It's going to just take you directly to the next level, um, and I'm really excited to see that growth. But um, without you know too much more, I kind of want to bring the video to an end. You know, so um, I really appreciate you watching this. I really hope this all made sense to you, and um, yeah, I mean, you're in the right path, you know, you're talking to the right guy, trust me, and uh, you can do great things from the type of marketing, the SEO, and everything that we talked about. So, you have my contact information, you know where I'm located, um, you know, just reach back out to me, I want to hear your thoughts, hear your feedback, and talk to you about how we can move forward and implementing these strategies into your business so you can get, you know, to that next level that we talked about, okay? So again, Ben, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to hearing from you and you have a wonderful day.